Article 1 General Introduction. Introduction Medical Parasitology deals with the parasites, which cause human infections and the diseases they produce. It is broadly divided into two parts. 1. Protozoology 2. Helminthology, the pioneer Dutch microscopist, Antonie Levin and Leeuwenhoek of Holland in 1681, first introduced single lens microscope and observed Giardia in his own stools. Louis Pasteur in 1870, first published scientific study on a protozoa, disease leading to its control and prevention during investigation of an epidemic silkworm disease in South Europe. A seminal discovery was made in 1878 by Patrick Manson about the role of mosquitoes in filariasis. This was the first evidence of vector transmission. Afterwards, Laverin in Algeria discovered the malarial parasite, 1880, and Ronald Ross in second Arabid and Calcula in India, showed its transmission by mosquitoes, 1897. A large number of vector-borne disease have since then been identified. By mid-20th century, with dramatic advances in antibiotics and chemotherapy, insecticides and antiparasitic drugs, and improved lifestyles, all infectious diseases seemed amenable to control. Parasites Parasites are living organisms, which depend on a living host for their nourishment and survival. They multiply or undergo development in the host. The term parasite is usually applied to protozoa, unicellular organisms, and helminths, multicellular organisms. Flowchart 1. Parasites can also be classified as ectoparasite. Ectoparasites inhabit only the body surface of the host without penetrating the tissue. Lice, ticks and mites are examples of ectoparasites. LHE parasitology term infestation is often employed for parasitization with ectoparasites. Endoparasite, a parasite, which lives within the body of the host and is said to cause an infection is called an endoparasite. Most of the protozoan and helminthic parasites causing human disease are endoparasites free living parasite. It refers to non-parasitic stages of active existence, which live independent of the host. For example, cystic stage of Nigleria thalari. Endoparasites can further be classified as obligate parasite, the parasite, which cannot exist without a host. For example, Toxoplasma gondii and Plasmodium facultative parasite, organism which may either live as parasitic form or as free living form. For example, Nigleria thalari accidental parasites, parasites, which infect an unusual host are known as accidental parasites. Echinococcus brunulosus infects man accidentally, giving rise to hydrated cysts aberrant parasites, parasites, which infect a host where they cannot develop further are known as aberrant or wandering parasites. For example, Toxocera canis, dog roundworm, infecting Lehunans, host host is defined as an organism, which harbors the parasite and provides nourishment and shelter to latter and is relatively larger than the parasite. The host may be of the following types: definitive host, the host, in which the adult parasite lives and undergoes sexual reproduction is called the definitive host. For example, mosquito acts as definitive host in malaria. The definitive host may be a human or any other living being. Accidental parasites, parasites, which infect an unusual host are known as accidental parasites. Echinococcus brunulosus infects man accidentally, giving rise to hydrated cysts aberrant parasites, parasites, which infect a host where they cannot develop further are known as aberrant or wandering parasites. For example, Toxocera canis, dog roundworm, infecting Lehunans, host host is defined as an organism, which harbors the parasite and provides nourishment and shelter to latter and is relatively larger than the parasite. The host may be of the following types: definitive host, the host, in which the adult parasite lives and undergoes sexual reproduction is called the definitive host. For example, mosquito acts as definitive host in malaria. The definitive host may be a human or any other living being. However, in majority of human parasitic infections, man is the definitive host. For example, filaria, roundworm, footworm. Panica's textbook of medical parasitology flowchart 1. Types of parasites parasite plus protozoa, unicellular, kingdom protista plus helminths, multicellular, kingdom, animalia amoebae flagellates, sporozoa ciliates plus plus plus, and amoeba nigli nigadia trichominus plasmodium babesia toxoplasma balanidium nematodes, asteris ancillostoma intermediate host, the host, in which a larval stage of the parasite lives or asexual multiplication takes place is called the intermediate host. In some parasites, two different intermediate hosts may be required to complete different larval stages. These are known as first and second intermediate hosts, respectively. Box 1. Peritonic host, a host, in which larval stage of the parasite remains viable without further development is referred as a peritonic host. Such host transmits the infection to another host, for example, fish for pleurocercoid of D. Lalum. Reservoir host. In an endemic area, a parasitic infection is continuously kept up by the presence of a host, which harbors the parasite and acts as an important source of infection to other susceptible hosts. For example, dog is the reservoir host of hydrated disease accidental host, the host, in which the parasite is not usually found. For example, man is an accidental host for cystic echinococcus. Zoonosis. The word zoonosis was introduced by Rudolf Virchow in 1880 to include the diseases shared in nature by man and animals. Later, in 1959, the World Health Organization, WHO, defined zoonosis as those diseases and infections which are naturally transmitted between vertebrate animals and man. Cestodes, Tenia echinococcus tremotodes plus Fasciola schistosoma box 1. Parasites with man as intermediate or secondary host. Plasmodium spp. Babesia spp. Toxoplasma gondii. Echinococcus granulosus, Echinococcus multilocularis, Tenia solium, Spirometer spp. It is of following types. Protozoal zoonosis, for example, Toxoplasmosis, Leishmaniasis, Belangodiasis, and Cryptosporidiosis, Ileomynthic zoonoses, for example, hydrated disease, Tenosis, Anthroposinosis, infections transmitted to man from lower vertebrate animals, for example, Cystic Echinococcus, Xanthroponosis, infections transmitted from man to lower vertebrate animals, for example, human and one berculosis to cattle, host parasite relationships, host parasite relationships are of following types. Flowchart 2, Symbiosis, Commensalism, Parasitism. General introduction, parasitology flowchart 2, host parasite relationships host. Parasite relationships are one I symbiosis commensalism parasitism. Both host and parasite are dependent upon each other. None of them suffers any harm from the association. Only the parasite derives benefit from the association without causing any injury to the host. The parasite derives benefits and the host is always harmed due to the association. A commensal is capable of living an independent life also. The parasite cannot HVE an independent life. Life cycle of parasites. Comma direct life cycle. When a parasite requires only single host to complete its development, it is called as direct life cycle. For example, Entamoeba histolytica requires only a human host to complete its life cycle. Table 1, indirect life cycle. When a parasite requires two or more species of host to complete its development, the life cycle is called as indirect life cycle. For example, malarial parasite requires both human host and mosquito to complete its life cycle. Tables 2 and 3. Common sources of infection contaminated soil and water. Soil polluted with embryonated eggs. Roundworm, whipworm, may be ingested or infected larvae in soil, may penetrate exposed skin, footworm. Dark and feclive forms of parasites present in water may be ingested. Cyst of amoeba and giardia. Water containing the intermediate host may be swallowed. Cyclops containing guinea worm larva. Infected larvae in water may enter by penetrating exposed skin. Sicarii of schistosomes free living parasites in water may directly enter through vulnerable sites. Nigleria may enter through nasopharynx. Food, ingestion of contaminated food or vegetables can rain in infoclive stage of parasite. Amoebic cysts, toxoplasma oocysts, echinococcus eggs, ingestion of raw or undercooked meat harboring infoclive larvae 
larvae, measly pork containing sister circus cellulosi, the larval stage of Tenia solium, vectors, a vector is an agent, usually an arthropod that transmits an infection from man to man or from other animals to man, for example female Anopheles is the vector of malarial parasite, vectors can be, biological vectors, the term biological vector refers to a vector, which not only assists in the transfer of table 1, parasites having direct life cycle, requiring no intermediate host, protozoa helminths, entamoeba histolytica, ascaris lumbricades, giardia lamphia, enterobius vermicularis, trichominus vaginaris, tricheris trichira, balantidium coli, ancillostoma duodenale, cryptosporidium pavum, necator americanus, homocyclosporocarinensis, himenolopis nana, sostera b2, microsporidia parasites but the parasites undergo development or multiple in their body as well. They are also called as true vectors. Example of true vectors are mosquito, malaria, filariasis, sandflies, flies, tsetse flies, sleeping sickness, reduvial bugs, chagas disease, chicks, babesiosis. Mechanical vectors. The term mechanical vector refers to a vector which assists in the transfer of parasitic form between hosts, but is not essential in the life cycle of the parasite. Example of mechanical vectors is housefly, amoebiasis. In biological vectors, a certain period has to elapse after the parasite enters the vector before it becomes infective. This is necessary because the vector can transmit the infect line only after the parasite multiplies to a certain level or undergoes a developmental process in its body. This interval between the entry of the parasite into the vector and the enzyme it takes to become capable of transmitting the infection is called the extrinsic incubation period. Animal domestic, cow, for example T. saginata, sarcocystis. Panica's textbook of medical parasitology table 2, parasites having indirect life cycle requiring one intermediate box 2, parasites causing auto-infection host and one definitive host, parasite definitive host intermediate host protozoa plasmodium spp, female anopheles man mosquito babesia tick man laish mania man dog sandfly trypanosoma brucey man tetsi fly trypanosoma cruzi man triadamine bug toxoplasma gondii icat man cestodes tenia solium man pig tenia sagenera man catalicinococcus, granulosis dog man trematodes fascia hepatica man snail fascia apsis busky man, pig snail schistosoma spp, man snail nematodes trichinella spiralis man pig watcheria bancrofti man mosquito brugia malayi man mosquito dracunculus medinensis man cyclops table 3, parasites having indirect life cycle requiring two intermediate host and one definitive host parasite intermediate host Definitive host fascia SPP. Snail, plant man clonorchis sinensis snail, fish man defilobophrium latum cyclops, fish man perigonimus wistermini snail, crustacean man, pig, for example T. solium, trichinella spiralis, dog, for example echinococcus granulosis, cat, for example toxoplasma, bopis forcus, wild, wild game animals, for example trypanosomiasis, wild felines, for example perigonimus wistermini, fish, for example fish tapeworm, mollusks, for example liver flukes, copods, for example guinea worm, carrier, a person who is infected with parasite without any clinical or subclinical disease is known as carrier, he can transmit parasite to others, for example, all, himenolopis nana, enterobius vermicularis, tenia solium, strongyloides stercoralis, capillaria philippinus, Cryptosporidium pavum and propanotic infections, vertical transmission of congenital infections, self, auto infection, box 2, finger to mouth transmission, for example, pinworm internal reinfection, for example, strongyloides, modes of infection, oral transmission. The most common method of transmission is through oral route by contaminated food, water, soiled fingers, or fomites. Many intestinal parasites enter the body in this manner, the infective stages being cysts, embryonated eggs, or larval forms. Infection with E. histolytica and other intestinal protozoa occurs when the infective cysts are swallowed. Skin transmission, entry through skin is another important mode of transmission. Hookworm infection is acquired when the larvae enter the skin of persons walking barefooted on contaminated soil. Schistosomiasis is acquired when the sacarial larvae in water penetrate the skin. Vector transmission, many parasitic diseases are transmitted by by insect bite, for example, malaria is transmitted by bite of female Anopheles mosquito, filariasis is transmitted by bite of Culex mosquito. A vector could be a biological vector or a mechanical vector. Direct transmission, parasitic infection may be transmitted by person to person contact in some cases, for example, by kissing in the case of Gingiva and by sexual intercourse in Trichomoniasis. Vertical transmission, mother to fetus transmission may take place in malaria and toxoplasmosis. Iatrogenic transmission, it is seen in case of transfusion malaria and toxoplasmosis after organ transplantation. Pathogenesis, parasitic infections may remain inapparent or give rise to clinical disease. A few organisms, such as E. histolytica, may live as surface core mensils without invading the tissue. Clinical infection produced by parasite may take many forms: acute, subacute, chronic, latent, or recurrent. Pathogenic mechanisms, which can occur in parasitic infections are, lytic necrosis, enzymes produced by some parasite can cause lyric necrosis, e histolytica intestinal cells and produces amoebic ulcers. Trauma, attachment of hookworms on jejunal mucosa leads to traumatic damage of villi and bleeding at the site of attachment. Allergic manifestations, clinical illness may be caused by host immune response to parasitic infection, for example eosinophilic pneumonia in ascaris infection and anaphylactic shock in rupture of hydatid cyst. Physical obstruction, masses of roundworm cause intestinal obstruction. Plasmodium falciparum malaria may produce blockage of brain capillaries in cerebral malaria inflammatory reaction. Clinical illness may be caused by inflammatory changes and consequent fibrosis. For example, infinitis in filariasis and urinary bladder granuloma in schistosoma hemolobium infection. Near pleasure, a few parasitic infection have been shown to lead to malignancy. The liver fluke, clonorchis may induce bile duct carcinoma, and esimotobium may cause urinary bladder cancer. Space occupying lesions, some parasites produce cystic lesions may compress the surrounding tissue or organ, for example hydatid cyst, immunity and parasitic infection like other infectious agents, parasites also elicit immune responses in the host, both humoral as well as cellular, figure 1, but immunological protection against parasitic infections is much less efficient than it is against bacterial or viral infections, several factors may contribute this. compared to bacteria and viruses, parasites are enormously larger or more complex structurally and antigenically, so that immune system may not be able to focus attack on the protective androgens, many protozoa and parasites are intracellular in location, and this protects them from immunological attack, several protozoa and helminths live inside body cavities 1h's location limits the efficiency of immunological attack, once the parasitic infection is completely eliminated, the host becomes again susceptible to reinfection, this type of immunity to reinfection is dependent on the continued presence of residual parasite population and is known as premonition. Antibodies belonging to different immunoglobulin classes are produced in response to parasitic infections. Selective tests for immunoglobulin M, IgM, are helpful in differentiating current infections from old infections. Excessive Ig response occurs in helminthesis. A characteristic cellular response in helminth parasite is eosinophilia, both local and systemic. Figure 1. Parasites have evolved to be closely adapted to the host, and most parasitic infections are chronic and show a degree of host specificity. For example, malarial parasites general introduction. Parasitology Figure 1. Eosinophils surrounding schistosomulum, an example of immune attack in bloodstream. Box 3. Parasites exhibiting antigenic variations. Trypanosoma brucei gombeans. Trypanosoma brucei rhodiocenes. Plasmodium spp. Giardia 
Archaea languia of human. Bird and rodents are confined to their own particular species. Parasites like trypanosomes exhibit antigenic variation within the host. This genetic switch protects them from antibodies. Similar mechanism may be operative in the recrudescences in human malaria. Box 3. Some parasites adopt antigenic disguise. Their surface antigens are so closely similar to host components that they are not recognized as foreign by the immune system. Some infections may produce immune deficiency due to extensive damage to the reticulodophilial system. As in case of visceral leishmaniasis, the fact that immunity normally plays an important role in the containment of parasitic infections is illustrated by the florid manifestations caused by opportunistic parasites such as pneumocystis gerevisii and T. gondii. When the immune response is inadequate as in acquired immune deficiency syndrome, AIDS, and other immune deficiencies, immune evasion all animal pathogens, including parasitic protozoa and worms have evolved effective mechanism to avoid elimination by the host defense system as described in Table 4. Vaccination no effective vaccine for humans has so far been developed against parasites due to their complex life cycles, adaptive responses and antigenic variation. Great progress has been. Panica's textbook of medical parasitology table 4, Parasite Escape Mechanisms, Parasite Escape Mechanisms, example intracellular habitat malarial parasite, Leishmania and Cystman Toxopus Matrypanosoma Cruzi resistance to microbial phagocytosis, Leishmania masking of antigens, Schistosomes variation of antigen, Trypanosomes, Plasmodium SPP, suppression of immune response, Trichinella spirus, Schistosoma Mansoni malarial parasite interference by polyclonal trypanosomes, activation sharing of antigens between parasite, Schistosomes and host, molecular mimicry continuous turnover and release of Schistosomes, surface antigens of parasite made in identifying protective antigens in malaria and some other infections, with a view to eventual development of prophylactic vaccines, laboratory diagnosis, most of the parasitic infection cannot be conclusively diagnosed, on the basis of clinical features and physical examination, laboratory diagnosis depends upon microscopy, culture, serological test, skin test, molecular method, animal inoculation, xenodiagnosis, imaging, hematology, microscopy and appropriate clinical specimen should be collected for definitive diagnosis of parasitic infections. Following specimens are usually examined to establish a diagnosis. Stool, blood, urine, sputum, cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, tissue and aspirates, genital specimens. Stool examination. Examination of stool is very important for the detection of intestinal infections like giardia, enlomoba, asteris, and cystoma, etc. Cysts and lymphocytes of E. histolytica, C. lamblia can be demonstrated in fesses. Eggs of roundworm and tapeworm are also found in stool. The larvae are found in the fesses in S. Locorilis infection. Table 5. For further details, refer to Chapter 23. Blood examination. Exam of blood is of vital importance for demonstrating parasites which circulate in blood vessels. Table 6. Malarial parasite is confirmed by demonstration of its morphological stages in the blood. Urine examination. The characteristic lateral spined eggs of S. hematobium and trophozoites of T. vagina is can be detected in urine. Microfilaria of W. bancrofti are often demonstrated in the chylus urine. Box 4. Sputum examination. LHE eggs of P. wistermini are commonly demonstrated in the sputum specimen. Occasionally, larvae stages of SSO coralis and alum may also be found in sputum. Cerebrospinal fluid examination. Some protozoa like T. brucei, nigleria, acanthomoba, balamulhia, and Ambiostrongulus can be demonstrated in the CSF. Tissue and aspirates examination. The larvae of trichinella and eggs of schistosoma can be demonstrated in the muscle biases specimens. By histopathological examination of brain, Nigleria and acanthamoba can be detected. In Kyla Razar, Leishman Donovan, low, bodies can be demonstrated in spleen and bone marrow aspirate. Trophozoites of Giardia can be demonstrated in intestinal aspirates. Trophozoites of E. histolytica can be detected in liver pus in cases of amoebic liver abscess. Genital specimen examination. Trophozoites of T. vaginalis are found in the vaginal and urethral discharge. Eggs of E. vermicularis are found in anal swabs. General introduction. Parasitology Table 5. Parasites and their developmental stages found in stool cysts. Trophozoites. Entamoeba histolytica. Giardia lamblia. Balantidium coli. Sarcocystis spp. Lysospora b2. Cyclospora cadenensis. Cryptosporidium pavum eggs. Cestodes. Tinea spp. Hymenolopis nana. Hymenolopis diminuta. Oipiidium caninum. Oifilaborium atom t. Rematodes. Schistosoma spp. Fasciolopsis busci. Fasciura hepatica. Fasciura ugentica. Clonorchis sinensis. Table 6. Parasites found in peripheral blood film protozoa. Plasmodium spp. Babesia spp. Trypanosoma spp. Leishmania spp. Box 4. Parasites found in urine. Schistosoma hematobium. Macheria bancrofti. Trichominus vagina is culture nematodes. Macheria bancrofti. Rugia malae, Lololoa, Mancinella SPP, Larvae adult worms, Gastrodiscoides hominis strongylides stercorilis, Tienia solium, Heterophys heterophys, Metagonimus eucogoae, Opis thorcus SPP, Nematodes, Trichuris trichura, Enterobius vermicularis, Ascaris lumbricoides, Ancillostoma duodenae, Nicatera marricinus, T. richus rongulus orientalis, Tienia saginata, Ophilobophrium latin, Ascaris umbricoides, Enterobius vermicularis, Comite archine last spiro is table 7, Antigen detection in parasitic diseases, Galactose leptin antigen, Giardia specific antigen 65, WKK and RK39 antigen, HRP, 2 antigen, Vivax specific PLDH, 200K diagon og 4 c 3 antigen, Entamoeba histoidica Giardia lamblia leishmania denovini plasmodium fell Cyprin plasmodium vivax watcheria bancrofti abbreviations and antigen HRP2 histidine rich protein 2 PLDH P fol cyprin lactate dehydrogenase RK39 recombinant kinesin 39 WKK Wittemski Klingenstein and Kuhn by rapid immunochromatographic test filarial antigens are detected in current infection by enzyme linked immunosorbent A ELISA Table 7 Some parasites like Leishmania Entamoeba and Trypanosoma can be cultured in LD laboratory in various azenic and polyxenic media Antibody detection The following antibody detection procedures are useful in detecting various parasitic infections like amoebiasis echinococcus and leishmaniasis in man Serological tests Serological tests are helpful for the detection and surveillance of many protozoa and helminthic infections These tests are basically of two types one Tests for antigen detection 2. Tests for antibody detection. Antigen detection malaria antigen like P. fell cyprin lactate dehydrogenase, PDI, and histidine rich protein 2, HRP2, are detected. Complement fixation test, CFT, indirect hemagglutination EHA, indirect immunofluorescent antibody, IFA. Test, rapid immunochromatographic test, IC, enzyme linked immunosorbent assay test, ELISA. Skin tests, skin tests are performed by injecting parasitic antigen intradermally and observing the reaction. In immediate hypersensitivity reaction, wheel and flare response is seen within 30 minutes of infection, whereas erythema and Panica's textbook of medical parasitology box 5, important skin tests done in parasitology, Cassini's test done in hydatid disease, Montenegro test or Leishmanin test done in color, Azar, Frenkel's test done in toxoplasmosis, Feli, S test done in schistosomiasis, Bartman intradermal test done in trichinolosis and duration seen after 48 hours of injection is called as delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Box 5, molecular diagnosis, molecular methods most frequently used to diagnose human parasitic infection are deoxyribonucleic acid, ANR, probes, polymerase chain reaction, PCR, and microarray technique 1. These tests are very sensitive and specific. Animal inoculation it is useful for the detection of toxoplasma, trypanosoma and babesia from the blood and other specimens. Xenodiagnosis, some parasitic infection like Chagas disease caused by T. cruzi can be diagnosed by feeding the larvae of 
the eye buds with patient's blood and then detection of mastodites of T. cruzi in their fesses. Imaging imaging procedures like X-ray, ultrasonography, USG, computed tomography, CT, span and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, are now being extensively used for diagnosing various parasitic infections like neurocystisicosis and hydatid cyst disease. Hematology anemia is frequently seen in hookworm infection and malaria. Eosinophilia is frequently present in hellmimphic infections. Hypogemoglobin anemia occurs in visceral leishmaniasis. Leukocytosis is seen in anemic liver abscess. Key points: Liu and Hoke in 1681 first observed the parasite Giardia in stools. Laverin in 1880 discovered malarial parasite and Ronald Ross in 1897 showed the transmission of malaria by mosquitoes. Protozoa belong to kingdom Protista and Helminths belong to kingdom Animalia. Definitive host: the host in which the adult stage lives or the sexual mode of reproduction takes place. Intermediate host: the host in which the larval stage of the parasite lives or the asexual multiplication takes place. Zoonoses: diseases which can be transmitted to humans from animals. For example, malaria, leishmaniasis, trypanosomiasis, and echinococcus. Parasites like trypanosomes exhibit antigenic variation within the host. Parasites like Ascaris and echinococcus cause allergic manifestations in the host. Innate immunity against parasite may be genetic or by non-specific direct cell mediated or by complement activation. Acquired immunity in parasitic infections is by generating specific antibodies and effector T cells against parasitic antigens. Diagnosis of parasitic infections are made by direct identification of parasite in specimens like stool, blood, urine, bone marrow, CSF, sputum, etc. Serological tests are also useful in diagnosis by detection of parasite-specific antibody and antigen. Other diagnostic modalities include imaging, molecular methods like PCR, skin test, and zoonodiagnosis. Review questions one. Write short notes on a parasites B host C host parasite relationship. Dizoanesis E immune evasion mechanism of the parasites two. Discuss briefly the laboratory diagnosis of parasites three. Describe immunity in parasitic infections four. Differentiate between a direct and indirect life cycle B definitive host and intermediate hosts. Multiple choice questions one. Definitive host is one A in which sexual multiplication takes place and harbors adult form B in which asexual multiplication takes place and harbors adult form C. Common other diagnostic modalities include imaging, molecular methods like PCR, skin test, and zoonodiagnosis. Review questions one. Write short notes on a parasites B host C host parasite relationship. Dizoanesis E immune evasion mechanism of the parasites two. Discuss briefly the laboratory diagnosis of parasites three. Describe immunity in parasitic infections four. Differentiate between a direct and indirect life cycle B definitive host and intermediate hosts multiple choice questions 1. Definitive host is 1A in which sexual multiplication takes place and harbors adult form B in which asexual multiplication takes place and harbors adult form C in which sexual multiplication takes place and harbors larval form D in which asexual multiplication takes place and harbors adult form 2. Auto infection is seen in all except A hemino epis nano B and terabius vermicularis C tenius so IUMD ascaris lumbricoids. 3. Antigenic variation is exhibited by A in B schistosoma CT ripenosoma D leishmania 4, which parasite enters the body by piercing the skin A trichuris trichira B ascaris C necator americanus D plasmodium 5, which parasitic infection leads to malignancy A babesiosis B clonorchis sinensis C trypanosoma cruzi D schistosoma hematobium 6. Zenodiagnosis is useful in A watcheria bancrofti B trypanosoma cruzi C trichinella spiralis D all of the above 7. The following is zoonotic disease except A leishmaniasis B belantidiasis C scabies D tiniasis general introduction. Parasitology 8. Two hosts are required in A tenia solium B and amoeba histolytica C trichuris trichira D giardia 9, which of the following parasite passes its life cycle through three hosts A fascia hepatica B fascia robusti C schistosoma hematobium D clonorchis sinensis 10. Man is the Intermediate host for A strongylides Stercorilis B plasmodium vivax C and amoeba histolytica D enterobius vermicularis answer 1 or 2 D 8 and 9 D 3 C 10 B 4 C 5 B 6 D 7 capital C 